Welcome back to our channel, Natural State Rebels. In one of our earlier videos, we took you on some boondocking sites uh, in some of the forestry areas of Arkansas. And today, we're going to scout out some more boondocking sites around Lake Washita. recreational area and there are several pull-in sites you could definitely get a class A down here we're, we're at 38 feet so we could definitely fit down here the areas they have fire pits they have picnic tables there's our car they have garbage cans and most of the sites here have a really nice view of the lake here as you can see it's pretty quiet and according to the sign you can stay here for 14 consecutive days within a 30-day period the road that we drove in on was really a, gr a good gravel road it was it was well, ma well maintained and there were a few limbs that were that were low lying, but they were really small limbs. So if you took it really slow, it would be okay. this campsite you could bring you a kayak or you know inflatable boat or whatever or just come out here and swim but uh, it's a nice little area there won't be any boat traffic or anything like that so you could uh, kayak or boat out to that area into the main lake out that way Looking back from the water edge here, back up towards the campsite, the camping area, there's the uh, bathhouse up there. It's not a bathhouse, it's basically a restroom. And there's our car parked there, but you could easily get pretty much any size rig in and out of here, because there's a, the road loops around, right, goes about that way. So there's no problems there. This is the Irons Fork Recreational Area, and just like the other area, you can camp here for 14 consecutive days within a 30-day period. And this is a really nice area, too. They have fire pits and picnic tables, uh, and this one over here even has a grill at the site here. And there is a pavilion up there. I'm not really sure what that's all about. And this site that I'm standing at is really close to the bathhouse, and they have garbage cans too. That's really nice. The road coming in here was a little rougher than the road to the Cedar Fush area. Uh, the gravel, it was a little more, it wasn't as maintained, but once you're a little ways down the road, it does have, it turn, the road turns to pavement. So then the road was really nice.
Okay, here's the boat launch area. So you could bring your kayak or your canoe or whatever, or fishing boat. And this is a little cove area, so there's not going to be much boat traffic at all. The water's kind of low right now, as you can see. There's some land sticking up right there in the water. It's a nice spot out here, though. You got one bar of, of cell phone signal. With a booster, you might get more. Just come on out and check it out. This area doesn't really have a, a name. It's just off of a side road in the little town of Washita which is spelt differently than Lake Washita. This one is spelt W-A-S-H-I-T-A. -A. But this, that's the road we came in on up there. And then there's a covered pavilion there, but this is a nice, quiet little spot. You've got lake access. The road in was, it, it's actually fairly close to the highway. You're not gonna hear highway noise down here, but uh, the road in was nice. You could get a couple of, uh, there's a couple of spots here you could get some Class A's into. Uh, this is uh, free camping. Each spot has its own picnic table, grill, and fire pit. And that's the one down there that we're sitting at right now in the car. I do only have one bar of cell service, so that's not the best, but with our uh, new internet uh, setup that we have. Hopefully that'll, we'll be able to pick up something better than just one bar. But we'll go down here and look at the water a little bit better. So this is the campsite that we pulled into to check out. Uh, you could definitely get a class A down in here, but there's a nice picnic table and a, a grill and a little place there to hang your trash. And then you've got, there's several up the road right there. There's several trash cans. So they have a place for you to put all your garbage, which is really nice, especially in a free camping area. But if you camp down here in this camp spot that we are parked in right now, you kind of have your own little private access to the lake right there, which is really nice even get to the water over there where Shane is. Down here close to the water there's these flower bushes. Some of you flower people out there might know what those are. I'm not sure what that kind of flower is but I bet in the springtime I bet this bush right here is just beautiful with all these flowers bloomed on it. watching all the different places that we brought to you that lakeside camping on Lake Washita here in Hot Springs and we hope that if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and if you have any places that you know of that are good boondocking sites here in Arkansas please drop us a comment and let us know too and uh, we thank you for watching until next time bye